this video, I'm going to create a new project. So to create a new project, you just press on the projects button at the top, go to new, and type in the job name. The reference project is not being applied now, so because we don't have any projects on this controller. But you could switch this on and then go and pick a project that you already used and all the settings from that job, including control points, can be brought into this project. For now, we will start our very first project on this controller. So we go to coordinate system and go to predefined. In predefined, our continent currently is Africa. So we're going to go Africa and we choose we choose South Africa. And I'm in Cape Town using LO19, so it's Hartbeeshoek datum, the WG is 84 ellipsoid, and it's LO19 for the central meridian, which is our 19 degrees east of Greenwich. So that is our location, and we will then use that as our job file or settings. You can go and check your projection, check your datum transformation parameters, and horizontal adjustment. This will be changing as soon as you start calibrating on points or loading preset calibration files. Under vertical adjustment, you can say no adjustment, but you can choose your geoid to be off, or you can switch your geoid on. And you can see there's a whole list of options there. South Africa generally uses the South African 2010 GRD file. So this means the GUID is currently on. Now the coordinate system is set up. I'm not going to use any code libraries, but I can go into my project settings. I can make my units to be whatever value you want. My station uh, setup or your changes, as we would know it in South Africa, will not be like this. So we'll switch this off. We will change our decimals to that which is something familiar to South Africans. And our slope can be percentages or it can be in ratios. So let's say I want to work in percentage most of the time and we'll go back one. All right, so when we work with GPS or GNSSS, we can set our horizontal tolerances, our vertical tolerances. Diff age means how long ago did you get a correction from a base? Speed up is your quality of your signal. We don't want that to be generally that high, but six is a good position to be in. Normally, your speed up will be in the re region of about 1.5 to 2.5, which is a good range. So if it goes above six, it will start warning you. Our uh, auto name incrementation will be one number at a time, and then I can tell it to take three readings for every point that is stored. Right, if my staff move too much by 100 mils, more than 100 mils, and I don't have a tilt sensor, this will allow the GPS to tell me that the staff moved too much and the point cannot be accurately be calculated. All right, so the interval of your points, I want this to be as high as possible. Generally, 5 hertz is a good setting. That means you're going to get a position update five times a second. All right, when we do staking out, I want a prefix to be added to the name, the number field, which is STK, or you can make it anything you want. And then if you did not calibrate the controller for the positional or directional azimuth bearing, switch this off to improve your accuracy of your staking out or your navigation to make it more sensible. Okay, th these are sort of the standard settings that you would want to change. Let's go back to our main screen. And then under display settings, you would want to show the different snap modes. Don't fiddle with these options too much. It doesn't really affect us that much. You might want to show the code if you're into using a code rather than the name. The name is just a numeric incrementing number. The code is actually a little bit more descriptive, but you can have both on and by just clicking on the point code box, choose a different color so that you can differentiate between the point name and the point code. All right, so I'm gonna go back and say, save this as my default so that every job I start will load with these settings at least. And then once all of that is set, press okay. 
and that is how you create a project.